Good morning. God gives life, Satan gives lies. And why are people shaming themselves with Satan's lies? Our reading is at Jeremiah 51, verses 15 through 19 today. He has made the earth by his power, he has established the world by his wisdom, and stretched out the heaven by his understanding. When he utters his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens. He causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings for the rain, he brings the wind out of his treasuries. Everyone is dull-hearted without knowledge. Every metalsmith is put to shame by the carved image, for his molded image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are futile, a work of errors. In the time of their punishment they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the maker of all things. And Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. So God is the source of life, of knowledge. Uh, he created the universe. The, the universe operates on his terms. And yet humans look for other answers. Whereas God has actual knowledge, these carved images, these fake idols, they, they have false knowledge, falsehood, error. It, all the knowledge surrounding them is, is purely fictional. It's not real. It doesn't fit into the universe as it really stands. And every human theory that takes glory from God and redistributes it to false gods is really redistributing that glory to humans, which um, I guess you could say we are completely unworthy of that kind of glory. And certainly we wouldn't be worthy of it for making up some ridiculous fake plastic religion that, that doesn't even represent reality. And all those kind of theories that take us to places like that, those are theories that make us, as the text says, dull-hearted, dull-hearted, verse 17. All those theories, rather than adding to our true knowledge, decrease our actual knowledge. They put an error in the place over here where we want truth to be. And so they're a, a minus for us. But for people who choose to embrace the design of the designer, God is for us. That is our heritage. God gives us a heritage of being people of truth, people who are actually consonant with the reality. We are in harmony with the reality as we walk in God's ways. He's the designer. We're the designed. He gives us the instructions on how we should embrace these things, how we should live in this world, and we follow those instructions and uh, we have a wonderful experience that way. In contrast, if we embrace lies and nonsense, uh, we'll get basically everything wrong. Our life will be a series of crash and burns. The devils might like that, but God hates that because he hates to see his children harmed. So why don't we find God's ways? I think God will bless that. We can actually operate within the design. Jesus said he wants us to have life and have it more abundantly. More on every side, John chapter 10. That's the plan. If we embrace God's plan, we're going to see a lot of beautiful pieces that were what God always intended for us to see. If we embrace these false idols, these carved images, these, these fake ideas, these ideas that lead you off into a cul-de-sac of nonsense, that's what you'll get, you know? Play stupid games, get stupid prizes. Yeah, it's that choice or it is looking again to the designer. When we look to what the Creator has for us, why would we go any other which way? Let's pray together. Father in heaven, I want to choose life. I don't want to have a covenant with death and hell. I want to have a covenant with life and grace. Lord, please send your help to us. Uh, help us, our children, our grandchildren, help us to see how we can live above the flotsam of this world, Lord above the nonsense, above the theories that are not actually factually true. So, Lord, help us to be right. Be our guide. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Give us Jesus, and all these other pieces will fall into place. Thank you, Lord, that we know that's the truth. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we thank God for giving us the truth and clarifying where the lies come from. We want to be people of truth. God be with you today as you serve him.